Hey, what's up, traders? Uh, I don't even know what I ended up going today. Let's see, four, five, six, seven. So seven total trades. Four of them were green. Figs was basically break even. Sober was break even. Hyper M Gam were both red. So I guess we'll say four for seven, uh, with one of them being break even. And yeah, I'm pretty disappointed um, because Hyper Figs and SOBR all should have been uh, twenty five thirty dollar winners, which would have put us at that one fifty ish area. And uh, yeah, but no, uh, we're down here at 70. So a little disappointed overall today. Um, the emotions were getting the best of me, uh, which you'll see on MGAM uh, when we get to it. So let's go ahead and jump right into this as always. Figs was our first trade. Um, sorry, it was on the wrong chart there. I can't seem to double click. Oh, I did, I was just on, okay, anyways. So Figs, previous resistance all the way down here, 869. Um, you can see it made a pretty decent move here at the open. Uh, pretty much top tick this thing. And the theme of today was me just not getting filled um, on the bid for take profit. <clears throat> we get short here, 944, 100 shares, nothing too big, just looking to uh, get started. I put my take profit out at 924. This thing comes down to 924.31 and we never get filled. And pretty much uh, as it was testing 924, I was like, all right, come on, give me the fill, give me the fill. And then boom, it just shot up. Uh, no chance to to really get out, went right back to my average, um, kind of hovered there for a second and then went up through 50 and just kind of grinded. So <clears throat> at this point, I was pretty annoyed. I wanted a big push up through 950 uh, to get the ad, um, but then I started the grind. So I told myself I'd wait a little bit and see if we could get up towards like 985, 990. Um, if it was going to be a grinder, that's where I'd look to add um, just in case it wanted to reject up towards 10. Um, but instead it came back down. Um, and as you can see now, our average is still at 44 comes down to our average around 47 and decides to bounce. Uh, we do get the ad this time as it comes back up. I basically was waiting for it to look, uh, for a sign of rejection. And I was going to just risk high of day. Cause at this point I didn't want anything to do with it. It's starting to grind. It tried to pull back up, bought right back up towards those, that same area. So if it came back down, um, I wanted to try to get out of this if I could. And, uh, so when it came back up and gave us a chance to add looking to risk off high of day, we took it and, uh, made a nice little pop. We actually got filled on the top of this candle at 65. So now we have 200 shares. I think our average was like 52 or something like that, but we ended up taking some off there. Uh, for a small amount. So it must've been like 54 comes back up. And at this point I'm risking high of day. Still, I decide to add those shares back and I'm just looking for the flush again. And as you can see, it did try, uh, got down to 56, but then started to come back up. So we just, we just took it off. I wasn't about to keep fiddling with it and it ended up being about break even. So all that basically, uh, for nothing. Our one good trade today, uh, was the unlikely AI that has been absolutely crushing, uh, the last few trading days. And you're going to see, uh, if we scroll out, previous uh, day high, uh, 1811, makes a pretty good move here at the open, uh, kind of grindy, and then bam, uh, we get a nice move on some volume. Uh, we ended up shorting this and then adding to it. Uh, so first short was 1926, added to it 1955, the high of this candle was 1965. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that brought our average right to about 1950, I don't remember exactly. Um, and then we covered on the way down. And then as you can see, right as we got out, this thing popped all the way back up to the highs. And then ultimately it did fade down and give us that 19 test. However, since then, uh, this thing grinded up uh, nice and high, um, hit that level on the daily that I found or close to it, 2152. And it's been kind of going sideways since. So pretty good trade there on AI. Um, got the ad, capitalized uh, on the fast move into the pullback. And as always, what it does after that, uh, we don't really care because that's not what we're looking for. Next trade was on <clears throat> SOBR. SOBR, um, this one was very frustrating. This was another one I hit the bid, uh, or I was on the bid. But as you can see, we're going off this previous resistance from pre-market 145. Was really looking for the 150 pop on this initial push, but this was the move that caught our eye was this first big move off the bottom here. And so when it pushed up to a buck 50, uh, it just didn't want to seem to get through. So I ended up putting 100 share or 300 shares out at 149, uh, which happened to be the top of that candle, and we get filled. Um, I immediately put them out at 142. Uh, and as you can see, I went down, or, or let's see, where is it? One, let's scroll in, be easier. It comes down to 143. Uh, pretty much bounces right off. I remember we were on the bid at 142. Uh, we just didn't get filled. So as it came back up on the second candle, um, it actually went back up to the 149 area and started to come back down again. And it got the 143 again. And this time I moved my order up to 143 and could not get filled. 
Now, keep in mind, my original idea was to try to get filled down in like the 136, 137 area, but I quickly realized that we weren't going to get that. And I just put that out there um, just looking for the quick flush. And I thought we got it, but uh, we just didn't get it filled on the bid. Tried again uh, that second time on the way back up. I took it off break even because I figured at this point, it's just going to try to go through 150 if it gets back up there. Um, and so on the second try, it was pretty obvious it wanted to try up through 150. Uh, took it off exactly break even. And unfortunately, it went through, uh, what, six cents and then ultimately gave us that big pullback that we were looking for. So a little bit of a fake out breakout. I was I had every intention of getting out of this to get right back in at a higher price eventually looking for this bigger pullback, but unfortunately it was a fake out breakout and I didn't jump back in. Um, and honestly, this, <laughs> this was the third. So the trade on figs was one. And then twice it happened here where I was on the bid with no fill, um, where I am now starting to mentally get a little discouraged. Uh, so three times I was on the bid with no fill and gave back a lot of what could have been potential profits. Next trade was on hyper. So this trade um, was a pretty good trade, but we ran out of shares and thankfully uh, it didn't go too much higher. But um, after we got our ad, it went up higher. It came back down and pretty much bounced off our average here. Um, I believe it was around like 152, 153. Um, so we took some off for a loss at 163 and then we were trying to get the bigger move, uh, feeling that this thing could just die. And you're going to see this looks very similar to MGAM, uh, which we'll get to, but Made the initial move, ran out of shares, couldn't add to it again. Um, so I was basically trying to be a little bit safe with this one. And we ended up losing $5 on this one overall. Um, I tried to get these last 50 shares to make this move, but it started to pop back up and I wasn't about to let it go all the way back up without having any shares. And I'm pretty sure I took these off break even. So maybe our average is right around there, 155, 156. Um so yeah, uh, that one was a little frustrating because we ran out of shares. Not sure I would have been in this very long anyway because of these two times it tried to go back up. Um, so I can't even say I would have been part of this uh, bigger move anyway. Uh, Depro, next trade. This one was a pretty good trade. Um, just not a lot of range. Uh, volume wasn't too great. But if we zoom out, you see the previous day high down here, 192. Doesn't really make a move um, from there. Uh, starts to curl a little bit and then makes a little bit of a move. Uh, had the opportunity to hit it at 217. Ended up getting filled at like 215 and some change. Yeah, you can see 200 shares went through a 215 and then 100 went through a 216. Um, but I hit it on the way down uh, when 217 broke. Um, I, I was really jiggling. Uh, 217 by 218. And you can see I tried to hit 219, but it was pretty obvious it was jiggling there. Could have got 217, but it doesn't, I mean, that doesn't really matter. Came down, gave us a nice push down. And um, this one was, again, had my order out at 205, um, was sitting there. It went to 206 and just sat there. I think it was, what was this, 207. So maybe 206 never actually printed. I ended up, uh, there ended up being a spread, 206 by 208. I actually hit my cover 100% on the bid button. I thought that was going to give it to me um, 206, but it actually put me at 207. And uh, that's where we ended up getting filled, uh, 207. And then right after that, it ended up dying and going all the way down uh, to two. So what I got the 205 fill. So another one where I was that close, uh, makes a big move down right to where my take profit is and just can't seem to get that extra little push to give me that fill. The MGAM. Um, so this one was just dumb. <laughs> uh, I like the move, but we only had like 30,000 shares available or something. Previous resistance 108. Um, makes a nice move. We end up uh, getting in at a, a good spot, I feel. I uh, wasn't mad about that at all. I actually thought I should have been filled at 144. Uh, got a bad fill. It went down four cents on me as I got filled to 300 shares. Um, but the, the problem is it was running out of shares as I got in. My thought process was so messed up from the previous trades that I basically was telling myself, I'll just get in here now, assuming this will be the top. And that was it. That was, that was my thought process. And I, it was the dumbest thought process ever. Uh, so we end up getting in, we run out of shares, can't add to it. Would have been a beautiful trade if we had plenty of shares, right? We get to add up, uh, through one fifty the one fifty push, um, probably one sixties something. And, uh, we get the move down and we cover for a good trade, but we didn't have shares. So I should have never been in the trade anyway. And, uh, pretty much right after I got in, it basically ran out. Um, it ran out as this candle was making a high pretty much. I tried to add, but apparently I had my, 
uh, limit order down at 134, and apparently that was too much of a spread um, to give me the fill. So that kind of cost me because it would have worked out much better. But anyways, I end up taking most of this off, and um, now this that move looks like peanuts. Um, but uh, I tried to. I basically put a range order out 151 by 120. Ultimately, I was looking for that 108 retest, and I figured this thing was either going to die or curl and try to do exactly what it did. So I read the chart right, got out when I was supposed to, took the loss on it. Um, not a big deal. Um, just frustrated I even traded it. PALI, Pally. Uh, this was a pretty good one. Previous resistance uh, right here from intraday, 266, two, like 265, 266. 243 was a previous day high, but I don't really, I always use the most recent. And then I look for half of that move on the pullback. Nice move off there on some volume uh, up to 290. Pretty much top this one, 289, just took 200 shares. Um, got the pullback. Uh, and this one, we actually got our fill. Um, I remember we put the order out 278 and I was like, all right, let's do it. It came down to like 280 uh, a couple times and just sat there, uh, tried to go back up a little bit. And then ultimately it did come down and fill us. Uh, tried to make a little pop there off of our, our ad there, but ultimately it did end up going back down to that 266 area. So it's just frustrating. And um, I don't remember which one was it? MGAM was it D-Pro? One of these uh, didn't give the move back. Find it real quick. Was it Figs? No. Nope. Hyper. That's right. We ran out of shares on this one too. So I, I wanted to show you uh, real quick. Hyper um, comes up, run out of shares. You know, I could have kept leftovers, et cetera. Tried to. Um, didn't work out. It ended up going lower. MGAM, same. I mean, if we zoom in on just this move, this looks the same, right? Except for here. It fizzled on Hyper, but on MGAM, it does the exact opposite. So you never know what is going to do what after you know your edge plays out, right? This is why I will try to keep leftover sometimes, but a lot of times to me it's very 50-50. Sometimes you're going to give those back, sometimes it's going to work. You know, how much are you going to make versus you end up giving back um, when you try doing those things? So uh, I I always say that, you know, when somebody tries to show me something, it's like, well, for every chart that you show me that does this, I can show you a chart that doesn't. So always keep that in mind when you're kind of doing some research on any particular strategies, indicators and stuff and whatnot on YouTube, uh, because you're going to come across that a lot where everyone can nitpick and cherry pick and all that, you know, the charts that they're looking for to show you but you really got to step back and uh, look at everything, right? Uh, that's kind of, screen time is the vast majority of what's going to get you through this. And sure, I didn't keep a level head today. Uh, today might be the most frustrating, decent green day that I've had in a very long time uh, because I felt like I could have made a lot more and we just weren't getting that extra little push down to, into our take profit areas. And uh, yeah, I will... Uh, let you guys go. Appreciate uh, all the support you guys have been giving me. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers this year. That's pretty awesome. Um, I still, I have some pretty big news. It's been on the backside. Um, haven't really got around uh, to finishing all of that yet. Uh, we're getting pretty close. And uh, yeah, uh, that'll be out soon. Like and subscribe. Uh, if you need to leave any comments, questions, concerns, you can do that down below or find me in the Discord or on Twitter. Those links are in the description. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.